Okay, this is Cosmo Drive Zero. We're gonna do a Cosmo Drive Zero. Uh, I don't think I can change ship or anything. So, yeah, let's do a new game. So, it's just left and right. Got it. We're gonna do an easy, and we'll just do a course. What are we gonna do here? Oh! You did. <laughs> well, that was quick. Okay. I can't see... We're on the second highest uh, visual setting, and I can't actually... The... You, you can't see the yellow against the yellow, and it's that's not good. Like, black outlines would have been nice here. Like, I think the courses are somewhat procedurally generated. This is super cheap. Which is a shame, because I like the tunes. Oops. Oh, you do keep the gems you've collected already, though, which is kind of nice. I like the invisible wall slash speed line that's on the, the side there. How do we miss that? Alright, so large holes you can fit through. I don't know if there's like a power up later that lets you get tiny. Oops. We're up to four fourteen. Yeah, I got some words for this already. This is these are great. Game I wish I could uh, see anything. Also, I kind of wish there was more than one ship, which there really hasn't been an indicator of whether or not that's the case yet. Ooh. Excuse me. Oop. Can I just... Okay, let's go to menu. A uh, new level, that's what... Like... No! That's not a new... Oh, I see. That reshuffles the level. All right. All right, that didn't help much. Uh, we got ice cream and cream achievements. The the cream achievement is a cupcake. I, like, none of, none of this really makes any goddamn sense. But, but, but let's be honest here. I'm confused. I would like to finish at least one course. I feel like there should be, oh yeah, like a countdown when you restart would be great. Because it just drops you back in, and it's like, hello, you're going to die. Cool. Uh, go to menu. Also, I don't see... Uh, like, this is on easy, and it's punching me in the mouth. We just got banana, rainbow, and ghost achievements, because that's what you do. And I got a bunch more. Pizza Fox... Zeus? I, I don't know if this is just supposed to be an achievement generator or what. I'm very confused. Oh, we also just got love. Hooray. Yay! Like, I see the large holes in these fences, and I don't actually don't know if I'm high enough altitude-wise to fly through them. It worries me. I use some drinks for those deaths, I would imagine. So we'll figure out what's going on here. Yo, fence level is legit. Probably because I can actually see the barrier. I'm just going to finish this beer. Ugh. Not really a brown owl kind of guy, even though I love Lagunitas. Not bad. Honestly, I think if they dialed back the hops just a little bit on this bad boy. <laughs> I love this. I'm ra I'm mumbling at this point, and the beer itself says, Beer speaks. Mumble. I can't chug because I can't breathe because of the cold. 
It's actually kind of annoying. All right. It's done. New beer, more Christmas nonsense. Although they were the one, the Christmases I have were brewed a little differently each. So highlight reel. I'll be right back. We're gonna continue this. We're gonna go to menu and we're gonna try the fourth world. See if that unlocks another pile of achievements. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's I'm not an IPA guy. That's pretty tasty. Uh, new game. Oh good, the cave's nice and dark, so I can't see anything. Maybe wait a little to... I said we would finish one course, and I feel like... I feel like fence course is our best bet, but no promises. Yeah. Actually, well, I'm going to try something here. Normal. Fence course. I'm going to see if a bunch of other achievements will pop. A pop. Yeah. Uh. You literally just have to hammer... The unlock there. All right. Um. This is. This is uh, like this has its issues. I got it for sixty cents. I'm not complaining, but yeah, easy, fence course. We can do it. Not like that though. Uh, the difficulty just seems to change the uh vehicular speed. I would like to finish one course. So help me. Oh, too early. So my headset, my headset was caught on the keyboard, so it was throwing me off. Uh, so overall, I'd say not a bad soundtrack, and the idea is good, but yeesh. What I would give for maybe like like give me an unlock where I get more lives or something. And again, a lot of these obstacles do not mesh so well with that. Like, even with the fences with the holes in them, it's just like, if there's fences behind them, it looks like there's just more fence, and I do, I'm not sure whether I'm going to die or not. <laughs> like, that one looks like a pretty clear hole, so we're going to take it. Judging by the gem count, we're about halfway there. Uh, it gets nice and easy in the middle of the level. That's kind of nice. Checkpoints would probably be good. At least on easy mode. Like, all in all, I feel like the gem placement's pretty fair. Like, there's some, you know, there's some tricky ones. But for the most part, like... You can get by without getting punched in the teeth. Hey, we found the end of a level. All right, and we just got planet number one, planet number three, and planet number five. I don't know what these achievements even mean. But for a 60 cent game, I guess I'll take it. Uh, next level though. Oh, this just takes me to the caves. Okay, yeah, we, like, I get it. It's mostly a time killer. It's functional, but... 
Visually, it's a mess. And oh, there's the credits. I don't know why the credits took so long to load. They don't even tell you what these three people did, but it's playable. But it's very, it fairly feels a lot like a jam game.